Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you find these videos and as you useful and uh, subscribing to the channel. And the topic over here today is uh, Azure Migrate. So in general, today I'm going to talk about uh, what this allow you to do, and uh, we'll see some of the steps which are involved because I don't have an environment with me to go through end to end, but just give you an idea about uh, what are the steps or some of the things that you need to keep in mind when you utilize this tool. Okay, so let's start. So Azure Migrate it was long uh, due, I think. I don't know why Microsoft uh, took time for coming up with this tool, but uh, it's never late, right? So it's good that they have this tool and all this talk about in general going or moving your workloads to the cloud, right? Uh, a lot of customers, they are in the midst of uh, debating between what is the right solution, is it good to have on the private uh, cloud or should I move my workloads to cloud or even what should I move? Is it all the workloads that I have on-prem are eligible or good enough or compatible with the public cloud technology? So there are a lot of questions. Then obviously then when you add the pricing component, uh, you know, uh, it can be really overwhelming from the business point of view what decision to make and uh, some of these questions uh, you know uh, can be answered by using this tool now Azure Migrate is not the only tool which is available there are a lot of third-party options which are already there and it's still there and some of these they uh, also integrate with this uh, tool that Microsoft has uh, but uh, I think it is pretty uh, pretty interactive very initiative tool that Microsoft has given uh, and a lot of planning has actually gone. There was already a version and now they have upgraded the version. So a lot of capabilities at least I see which are there or it was missing in the in the previous option. Okay. So having said that, uh, let's look at, so in the background I would say it's still using Azure Site Recovery for a lot of components because when we talk about migrate or assessment or all these things, you know, there's sort of some sort of replication which needs to take place. So that is still being used in the background. And that was the tool actually people were using to migrate from on-prem to the cloud. Uh, I don't think so it's going anywhere, but uh, some of the GUI options, very interactive charts and uh, uh, some of the options which are unlocked by this uh, tool that Microsoft has, uh, uh, it's, it's really, really, uh, good job that they have done okay so let's look into some of the options that they have and what is the architecture behind so imagine if you have uh, on-prem infrastructure if you have a vmware in environment right you can have multiple machines over here You can either have a Hyper-V environment again with a couple of virtual machine or you can have lots of virtual machine size won't matter right and you're thinking of uh, maybe planning or right now in the midst of choosing a public cloud, hopefully Microsoft Azure. So what Azure Migrate will do is that it can assess your environment, right? It will assess your environment. Actually, it will discover your environment first. It will assess, it will give you the right size if you want. And then right from the console, you can also migrate that too. So all these capabilities are there right now as we talk today about this uh, this product. Now from the, from the department point of view, what you need is when you go through this uh, uh, tool, which I will show you in a moment, you need to deploy, a, specifically when we talk about the VMware environment, you need to deploy an OVA file.
or OV appliance you can call it let me say appliance and if you talk about the Hyper-V environment uh, it's gonna be a VHT file so you'd also need an appliance for that so this will be the the engine behind so you need these uh, in your environment and it will be running the last time I checked was on 2016 machine and it will compile all the information it will discover what you have in the environment and uh, after the discovery is done it will assess the environment now from the assessment point of view you can choose you can choose to do a performance assessment or you can move as is the difference between the two is when we say as is so whatever the environment or whatever the configuration of those machines that you have on-prem it will try to come closest to one of the series of virtual machine actually you can specify against which machine you want this assessment take place right uh, but if I'm doing this I will I will check all the boxes for the machine and see what is the right one but in as is uh, it will try to map uh, whatever configuration you have so if you have say two CPUs or you have a 200 gig of uh, RAM and uh, two disk in that will try to come closest to this so as this it will try to move and try to map that to uh, the right seat of the virtual machine if you go by the performance then it will it will try to assess the environment based on how that application or that database is be behaving over a period of time and you can specify those time you can go seven days 30 days i think the max you can go is up to 180 days actually one more thing that you can use this tool for free of charge for 180 days right so you can use this for 180 days no charge that's another thing so you can specify and based on that uh, it will it will recommend that for you whether that machine is compatible to be moved or not it will tell you that too and if it is then what is the right size based on that so most of the time I think people they go with the performance if they want to uh, want to make sure that uh, from the pricing perspective which will be the right size right so that that's the thing so one thing is yes you need an appliance that needs to be deployed compatible both Hyper-V as well as VMware environment and then you can assess you can do the assessment based on performance or you can go as is it will map the same way what you have or come closest to the uh, to the environment that you have so this is what Azure migrate in general will do that for you but uh, I think some of these capabilities were not there before and the tools even which are there some of them they are good I've not used all of them but uh, you know because this is Microsoft native tool I think this can come closest to what will be the right size a machine because in the end of the day it's all about pricing right how much you're gonna pay at the end of the month and also if you have on-prem say if you have uh, on-prem uh, uh, software assurance SA you can use something what you call hybrid benefit and there is a significant amounts of saving close to 49 percent because as we know that when we deploy these machines within the uh, within public cloud your pricing meter is all inclusive it means that you pay everything from computers storage the licensing cost everything is blended in for you but in case you have on-prem software assurance you can use something what you call hybrid benefit and right from the portal you can just switch on or switch off the button uh, in case you have those uh, on-prem hybrid benefits and then you can bring those licensing in the cloud and see how much is the cost will be with or without those licensing right so that is what it is okay so this is in general what uh, what uh, Azure migrate migrate uh, tool will do that for you with that let me just go to the portal and as I said that uh, I don't have any on-prem environment right now to do actually end-to-end -end testing but let me just show you where to find this service so if you go to all service and just do a type for Azure migrate that's the one which is there 
let me go inside and then you can see you can have the migration tool for server you have migration tool for databases you have a data box which is very similar to the snowball of uh, aws right and uh, if you have already used uh, some of the other tools within azure such as data migration assistant it also integrates with azure migrate and i'm talking specifically about databases in that case right so you can see so let's go and pick servers and then assessment tool so first step is as i said is discover then assess and then overview and in assessment you can choose as i said performance or you can go as as and uh, if i click on discover so it will ask you with what your machines are virtualized with what hypervisor you're using uh, you can either use uh, vmware or hyper-v in case you're using vmware you need an ova file ova appliance uh, which i told you and you download that and it will discover and then on the basis of that it will do the assessment for you if you pick a hyper-v environment then it will ask you to download a vht file and then you apply those uh, deploy that appliance and again it will do the discovery for you and then assess the environment and uh, based on that uh, it'll give you the recommendation what is the right fit for you so that's the tool uh, that you'll be using in order to get closest in terms of pricing or compatibility level which should be there for your on-prem environment. I hope this uh, gives you an overview on for Azure Migrate and what it can do for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.